Good morning, afternoon or evening, my name is Lewis Lipton and welcome to another car tutorial. Today in our car tutorial series what we're going to do is create a scene class. Now a scene class is something where we can just use a add function and even a remove function. These things make it a lot easier for updating and even rendering things on screen. For the majority of hacks frameworks these are very apparent but within car this is something that doesn't exist because car is an open framework where you can do anything and even add these things in. So that's what we're going to look at today. So without further ado let us begin. Now right away we are going to duplicate the 122 underscore rename refine library and rename to 123 underscore scene refine library. We are using the playstate.hx because this is the state that we want everything to run in but now we need to go into our libraries folder and into raccoon and sources and we are going to create a new class and this class is going to be called scene.hx. This is a bastardized version of the scene.hx from car2d whereas that had a pathfinder and other such things even collision. But we've cut out all of that and we're just keeping it to the bare minimum. So now to start off we'll do our class and then canvas and then name it scene. So now we'll get rid of the three imports here and we'll do one last import. So we'll do import raccoon dot object. So now below we'll set up some variables so we'll do a public var count entities and with some brackets here we'll do get and null and outside we are going to be putting it with int. So this count entities will count all of the objects within an array and then we'll do a var entities with an array and then left arrow brackets object right arrow brackets. So now within the new function here we'll set up our entities with our new array and then with our object. Then in the update we'll do for entity in entities and then outside we'll do entity dot update and then we'll just copy this down put it in the render and change the update to render and with our canvas now below the render we'll set up another function and this function will be called get count entities and this will output an int and within here we'll do a return entities dot length so within our playstate.hx we could call up a trace and just put in count entities. So now below the count entities we're going to do another function and this function will be called clear. And within here we'll call up our entities is with our new array and it will be with our object that we'd set up before. Now below the clear we'll set up another function and this function will be called add. And then within the brackets here we're going to put in entity with our object. Then within the function itself, we're going to put entity.active is true. So now below, we are going to make sure that we are pushing the entity into the array. So we do entities.push, and within the brackets here, we'll put entity. And now below the add function here, we're going to do one last function, and this function will be called remove. And within the brackets, much like the add, we will do entity with our object. Now within here, we'll do our entity.active, is false. So now we need to make sure our array removes the entity. So we do entities dot remove and within the brackets we type in entity. And now to make doubly sure that the entity has been removed below the array we are going to type in entity is null. And so that's us done with the scene.hx. What we now need to do is go into our state.hx and we're going to incorporate it into this. So below the import car.input.keycode, we are going to do import raccoon.scene. Next, we are going to extend the state. So we'll do extends scene. And as you've seen that the new has errored out as well as the update and the render. So within the new function here, we'll call up our super. Within the update function, we need to make sure we are overriding it, but also as well super.update. And now also as well with our render, so we override this, and then we make sure we do our super.render with our canvas. So now at the bottom of the state.hx, you can actually see that the add and remove are erroring out. This is purely because the scene already has add and remove, so instead we are going to replace these and rename them to add state and remove state. But this will still error things out because within our project.hx where the state's set up and all that, down below where the state.add is, we are erroring out with the add. And we need to rename this to add state. 
Now that should be it for our library and even our project.hx done, but now we need to make sure that everything works. So we can close down our project.hx, our state.hx, and our scene.hx, and do everything else in the playState.hx. This is incredibly simple now, so all that we can do is get rid of the player.update here and replace it with super.update. And also the same with the player.render and replace it with a super.render. And now to add in the player and make sure it's rendering on screen is that below the tween that we had set up, we are going to type in add. And then within the brackets here, it's asking for an entity, which is an object. All that we need to do is type in player. And there we go. This has now added the player into the entity array within the scene. So we can finally do a command R and run. And we can see that our player goes to the right at 600 and goes all the way back to the left at 320 and stops right there. But as you could see from the code before, there was no player.render and no player.update because the add within the new function has already added those things into the array, which allows you to free up much more with code and just add in extra things. This is especially useful for things that are being deleted on screen or just adding on screen. For scenery or images, it doesn't really matter, but if they are being deleted off, then it makes a lot more sense. So, there you go. My name is Lewis Lepton and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed the content, why not become a backer on my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Lewis Lepton.